This is Bob Barrow, and I'm coming from the Wichita Falls Art Gallery. We have a mask on. Sally's already taken hers off. We have both been vaccinated. We want you to know that we're very conscious of the uh, conditions going on now. Uh, as I said, my name is Bob Barrow, and we're here today with Sally Strzok. She's an artist here in Wichita Falls. And uh, Sally, where'd you come from? I am been in Wichita Falls since I was a young child, so uh, I've gone to high schools and college here, so uh, I enjoy Wichita Falls and I plan to stay. What did you do while you were growing up? What did you like to do? Uh, I was actually kind of athletic. I played baseball and uh, volleyball. I also was in the band, so I was kind of musical during that time, and uh, then I got a job that just kind of took up all my time, so I didn't have time for uh, art much when I was uh, working and raising kids. So after I retired, I just kind of took it up as a hobby, but it just kind of expanded from there, and I became a little more involved in the community and, and with art friends, and it's just really grown to something that I've really enjoyed. Uh, that's very interesting, and I hope that the audience out there will be able to understand over the conversations we'll have throughout the year that you don't have to always have been an artist. Uh, you don't have to always do art, and you can have many variety of things, and art is just a very exciting thing to be involved with. Now, what led you to become an artist? Uh, well, basically, I was just looking for something to do after I retired. I knew I just didn't want to sit around and do nothing, and uh, there were some local artists here in town. I took some classes from a few of them and really enjoyed that, and then just kind of slowly developed my own style and became involved in the art community here. And just, it's, I consider it a still ongoing process. <laughs> right, now, yeah, yeah. you think, and in looking at your piece, it looks to me, and the one she's also got one here in the art gallery, uh, some of it like stitch work, but right. is this all paint? It's, uh, well, kind of. Uh, this one piece really is an example of pretty much everything I add to my art pieces. Uh, I'm inspired by quilting, embroidery, and folk art, and I think this kind of has a folk arty style. I will probably never ever be able to do anything loose and realistic. It's always going to be kind of tight, and uh, uh, so I enjoy repetitive lines, which you can see in the background, and this is acrylic. The flowers are actually acrylic ink, which I always add ink, usually in most of my pieces. Uh, and then of course this looks like embroidery a little bit to me, the line work and the line work in the flowers. I think maybe this blouse inspired that piece. <laughs> I don't know. Well, now what would you like people to, to know about or to get from your art? Uh, that, Just a sentence. That I want it to be fun and interesting. Fun and interesting. Fun and interesting. And uh, I love the, I love to use, orange is not particularly a favorite color of mine, but I love to use an orange in artwork. She says this and she's it's got not. orange flowers on. Uh, <laughs> but it makes it bright and just kind of catches your eye. And I think people stop and look at it for a little bit longer than just, you know, a second. So, you all can do art too. You can see it, you can enjoy it. Would this not brighten up your wall? If you see Sally, talk to her. She's very friendly. She's the secretary of the Wichita Falls Art Association. And as I said, we were coming from the Wichita Falls Art Association, having a conversation that we will continue to have with different artists. When you see them at Art Walk or downtown or anywhere on the street, go up, say hi. Thanks for sharing your art with us.